This is not about making America great again. America's never been great. It's always been racist. It was built on slave labor. Reverend Clinton Stansel, the pastor of Wayman AME Church, prepared for this moment for weeks. We are not surprised, but saddened. Uh, for people of color, there seems to be no justice in America. No justice! We're tired. We're frustrated. Again, we're not surprised. It's the verdict we expected, since it's the verdict that we always get. The acquittal in St. Louis last Friday of Jason Stockley, the former police officer who killed Anthony Lamar Smith after a high-speed chase in 2011, has led to widespread protests in the city every day since. There's been occasional clashes between protesters and police, and at least 100 people have been arrested so far. In the days leading up to the verdict, Stansel called for a protest movement to shut down the streets of St. Louis and disrupt the economy of the city, but without violence and destruction. We will kill your economy! Who shut it down? You got to strike a tough balance because you've got to find a way to encourage people to stay peaceful without distancing yourself from them. Right. right. That's that's a tough balance. And and I, but but then you have to understand our role. Our role as clergy and as leaders to stay between the protesters and the police officers to make sure there is peace. The clergy is trying to avoid the mistakes they made three years ago, when violent protests engulfed the suburb of Ferguson for weeks after Officer Darren Wilson avoided indictment for killing Michael Brown. They were late to arrive on the scene and slow to form relationships with the protesters. When they called for peace and calm, they were branded as old and out of touch. This time, Stancil was determined to support the protesters' outrage, while still urging them in the direction of nonviolence. Our role this time was to lead and guide and try to show the young protesters a better way of doing it. Before the verdict came down, you said a couple things like, if he's not found guilty, the blood will be on your hands. This, this you were concerned about violence. My position was that some of the responsibility of Anthony Lamar Smith dying is on Judge Wilson's hand. There is no justice when cops can kill without retribution. They're gonna do it again. But also, because you took three weeks to render verdict, you put people in a pressure cooker. Tonight, I think the same thing you saw downtown. I think we're gonna have a peaceful protest. This is one of the richest areas in St. Louis. And so we wanna cause mass disruption in this economic power base because our message is simple. You kill our kids, we will kill your economy. If you kill our kids, we will kill our economy. If you kill our kids, Stancil and the other clergy left around nine o'clock. But the protests continued. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Eventually, they arrived at the mayor's front door. The next morning, religious and community leaders gathered at Stancil's church to talk about what to do next. I got a call uh, you know, in, in the night of, of what was going on and what was happening. Um, Were you disappointed? No, not at all. How can I be disappointed when we, when these young people put together a protest 
that was 98% peaceful. And so to stop protesting or to not protest because the acts of a few, that's something that we, we just, I think the risk is worth it. I mean, you know, last night was pretty violent though. Police were hurt and there was tear yes. gas going through the streets. But that happens every night in our community. It turns violent. Nobody seems to care then. Nobody covers that. So we, do we apologize that it turned violent in the so-called good neighborhood? Well, we don't want it to turn violent. We pray that it never does again, but welcome to our world. Thank <laughs> you.